Hey y'all, it's Island Coupon Gal. I know long time no see. You guys haven't seen me in an awfully long time. I haven't seen you in an awfully long time. I miss you guys. I have not been able to make videos lately. I have been doing a little bit of couponing, but I have not been able to do videos. My life is crazy right now. In the past three weeks, which I, I think it's been about two or three weeks since I've uploaded a video, even the rain check alert, I haven't even been able to do that. The past three weeks, I've made two separate trips to Pennsylvania and back to Pennsylvania and back. Yeah, which is a lot of driving to do it once within a couple of weeks, let alone twice. Um, also, I've been getting my stockpile together. If you follow me, you know that I talked to you guys a while ago about the possibility of my husband building me a little stockpile type shed outside of my house in my little like area uh, between all the doors that face each other outside, right? Well, in my area, I live in a gated community and there are certain like rules and regulations as far as adding additional structures to your um, existing structure. You have to request permission from the architectural review board. It has to go in front of the homeowners association. You have to get permission, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, our original plan um, for the shed was too large. You could, you would be able to see the roof line from the, from the street. So it was denied. So what we did is we modified our plan and made a much, much smaller little stockpile room. It's great. My husband had somebody do the outside, so it would be like weatherproof and whatnot. And then he just went ahead and did the inside really quickly with, you know, plywood shelves and whatnot. I'm very satisfied with it. However, it's certainly not large enough to, to house my stockpile. I still have my little room devoted entirely to paper products and I will try to upload a video of at least my paper product room by the end of this week and hopefully by the beginning of next week or next week in general I will have a video up showing you my little stockpile room. I still have a ton of areas inside my house as well. My hall closet is completely full. We have several under the bed roll away totes that are completely full. My stockpile's taken over my house and this is after two trips of filling this whole thing full of stuff up to my mom's and then giving a ton away to friends and family. Guys, I just, I can't get rid of it as fast as I bring it in. Now I've been doing this for over a year, so you would expect to go at the rate that I was going. Thank you that I would accumulate a little bit of stuff, but I've been, I've been donating this whole time. So it's like crazy to me how I can get so much stuff. So I definitely had to slow down. I'm still here. I'm still on the scene, guys, I still plan on making YouTube videos and being that consistent weekly, you know, reminder that I'm here, but I just haven't had time the past couple weeks. So I hope you can understand. All right. I think that's everything I wanted to say preemptively. I've done couponing this week. I did CVS, which I did on Sunday. I haven't had a chance to upload it because I literally just got back home yesterday and I don't have everything done. I had a 25% off coupon that was emailed to me, but the store didn't have everything I was looking for. But what I'll do is I'll upload that video and then tell you the things that I plan on getting this weekend whenever the home mailer 25% off coupon is valid. Um, a lot of us got that 25% off coupon mailed to us that's good the 4th and the 5th. That's when I'll finish up my shopping, but I will do a video within the next day or two showing you, hopefully today, showing you what I've got so far at CVS and what I plan on getting. I've also done a little bit of Rite Aid. There are some things I want to bring to your attention for Rite Aid. And I've done Target. Obviously, you can't pass up a Target gift card deal, especially when you have gift cards going in. I did it all yesterday before the awesome P&G $1.50 off one Crest Rents coupon expired. Um, there was a couple other ones. The Bounce Bar coupon. Um, yeah. So anyways, let me go ahead and tell you why I jumped on here. The Dollar General thing, I want to thank everybody who's done videos letting us know kind of play by play what's going on at Dollar General. Today is Wednesday, right? It is now 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I did the deal yesterday with the bounce. I tried the gain fabric softener sheets without a coupon. It was the Island Breeze maybe scent or something like that. It did not give me a Catalina back. Also, my area is not rolling. So if I purchase gain, no, not gain bounce and then I try to use the Catalina to get another Catalina, my area won't get one. However, what I can do is buy three bounce, pay my $3, get my $10 back, and then buy three more bounce and do it that way. 
Um, from what I understand, there are other items working like Tide and Dawn and maybe, maybe I've heard about Downy Unstoppables. I'm not sure, but I just want to let you guys know, just left the store. I did four transactions of three bounce. I know baby of three bounce in each transaction, which by the way, you guys are hooked up to my GPS holder. So I've been using both hands on the wheel, three bounce. Three off three manufacturer coupon. You pay $3 plus tax and you get back the 10. It's not rolling in my area. I just wanted to bring that to your attention, but it is still working Wednesday as of 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Guys, I got to go. I'm pulled in and somebody's waiting to put... Yeah, somebody is waiting in my driveway to put something in my car. I just got a new car. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but anyways, love you all. I miss you. Can't wait to see you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.